Welcome to Tony's Online Tuning Class. Our hope is to help you make positive changes in your life with these recordings by providing you with guided messages from Spirit. This tuning class will give you the means to enhance your energy through the use of tuning forks, crystals, meditation, and distance healing. These energy-driven classes do not alter or shift your energies, but to help you release outdated thoughts and beliefs from your past to help you feel lighter. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your vibrational growth with us. It's just that fear is the only thing that those nuisance energies have as a weapon for you. You have no fear, they're totally useless. They can't do anything because you've, you've got that power inherently. Some of the good affirmations that I've seen, the more you trust your intuition, the more empowered you become. And then the stronger you become in that intuition, the happier you become. That's from Giselle Bunchen. Follow your instincts. That's where true wisdom manifests itself. That was from Oprah Winfrey. There is a voice that doesn't use words. Listen. That was from Rami. That, he's one of my favorites in many of them. When we look at intuition, it's almost like a magical subject when we talk about intuition and why it works, how it works. How do I know that it is intuition or just not my brain talking? That's one of the most popular questions that we ask. Why is it that I'm getting something and I'm only half right? Like sometimes it'll work and sometimes it doesn't. And there are some basic areas where it is intuition and then uh, others, sometimes it is not. It's just fear or like one uh, could be that it could be something with history. Like if uh, you've had a very bad relationship with, let's say, a teacher, there was some kerfuffle when in grade three, and then you meet somebody in university that has the, almost the same na first name and almost even looks like the person, and he brings it back, and then you say, you know what, my intuition is telling me not to take this class. That's not intuition. That's your history. We just need to be mindful of that. There are some things that you'll get that is absolutely from your intuition and from your, from your senses, and others are not. The feeling of being overwhelmed. You have a hard time sleeping. Again, if this energy is a little out, you have runaway thoughts and repetitive thoughts. Let's say you accidentally dropped a knife when you're cooking. You're in the kitchen, let's say, and you drop a knife, and then it almost hit your foot. You know, to some people, oh, so, oh thank God it, it didn't hit me. But some people will play that 200 times. You just have that knack that, oh my God, I almost hit my foot, almost hit my foot. When we have those repetitive thoughts, it just means this particular energy is out of line because now you're using all your incredible vision abilities for something negative that didn't happen. It didn't hit your foot. It, it didn't get hurt, but it almost did. But you see, your mind takes over, and then it's that, those repetitive thoughts. That's how you would know that you need uh, to work on your intuition. Studies were done, researched hundreds of people over time, and they had two types of pictures that they were going to show them. So they sat them in a chair, they put on their goggles, and they showed them various pictures in their virtual thing. Most of the pictures were nice things like sunsets and like a child laughing or, or that sort of thing. Like very, very nice pictures. And then there were other pictures be like videos of snakes coming at you or a tiger coming at you or something dangerous that way. They just put it in a random form and they just asked the people just to look at the pictures and just see what reaction that they get. And what scientists found is about two seconds before, two seconds prior to a scary, dangerous picture, the pupils would dilate. They haven't seen the picture yet, but their senses realized there's something's coming up that's dangerous. 
and the third eye and the pupils are connected. This is how they tied things together. So they would be looking at a picture of, of a child laughing, let's say. Within one or two seconds before the picture was coming in, their aisles would dilate, and then the picture would come in, and then they would physically, humanly get startled. But long before they saw the picture, their senses kicked in and said, something's about to happen. This is the same type of energy that you would walk through let's say an alleyway and you've always taken this to go home let's say you work in a certain place and it's just a shortcut just to cut through an alley no big deal and you've taken this let's say hundreds of times but then there's one night that says don't know not getting the same fuzzy feeling that's your pupils dilating there's something there that you're not aware of and so most people say, oh, what the heck? I've done this hundreds of times. And then they'll veto it. They'll just do it anyway. And if something happens, they'll say, oh, yeah, I did kind of get a feeling of that. So what would it take when you constantly are doing something and there's been no problem and all of a sudden it's like, oh, I, I'm getting, I'm not, I shouldn't be going into work today or, I'm, or I should go in later today. That is where we're looking at our intuition and when that kicks in the ability to see beyond illusion our world that we have is full of illusions full of smokes and mirrors people saying one thing and then you find out down the road that they were meant something else and when we look at relationships when we look at people when other people are only looking at, at other people, and that is their main baseline in when they're establishing a relationship, it's very challenging because a person that wants to scam you, let's say, let's, let's just use the most extreme, a person that wants to dupe you or deceive you, they know exactly what to say, and they know exactly how to say it, and how to show that they're sincere. You could fake sincerity. You can. You look at them and he says, yeah, he looks sincere. He look, you know. And if you're only basing it on that, you're going to have a hard time because they know exactly what you're looking for. However, if you also take that and then you add in the voice or the feeling that you get from that, it might be a different story. Studies were shown that those couples that are about ready to buy a car and they asked one set of couples a certain question and then people were asking another set of couples another question. So the first question was, we want you to choose a vehicle just how it feels. Don't go see it, but just see the picture and how do you feel about that car? Like, what are you tapping into? You have no idea how much mileage is on there and just how does it feel? And then people decided to buy the car. Then they had another group of people where they said, I want you to do a ton of research on this car. When this car comes in, look at the mileage, take it for a test drive, like do a lot of research. And after several hundred people that, that were doing this, they went back to see the satisfaction level of how they were after they, they had the car for at least a year. 60% of the people that just chose because they felt it was the right car was happy with it. The people that did a lot of research, 25% liked the car. So even when you look at something humanly, and do all the research you know. We have access to Google and all kinds of information. And even that is almost a third of the satisfaction as you'll get from just tapping into your natural ability of intuition. How does it feel? You'll be three times happier if you choose something that you just feel that this is the right one. Thank you for listening to my online tuning class. Give yourself 24 to 48 hours to process how you are feeling 
which gives the body a chance to catch up on what you have cleared today. As these are powerful energy clearing classes that help relax our bodies and assist to reduce stress. If you know of anybody that could benefit from this for future classes, please spread the word. We are located on our Facebook page called Group Tuning Class with Tony. And until next time, namaste.